Hey everybody, it's Ian here, back with another um, review vid review video on my third YouTube channel. Sorry if this video is a little weird or something because of the camera and all freezing a bit, but um, today I will be reviewing a movie um, that came out in the year of 2000. I don't really usually review 2000s movies, but I guess I could for the heck of it because it, it, this year marks its 20 today marks its 20th anniversary. Um, it's Rugrats movie, Rugrats in Paris, the movie, today marks its 20th anniversary. Um, hang on, it's a little, it's a little itchy on my, on my forehead, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, anyway, today it marks the 20th anniversary movie, 20th anniversary of Rugrats in Paris, the movie, and, um, excuse me, um, today, Sorry, sorry, I just froze for a second on that, on that camera, my bad. If, if this is a little weird, I'm sorry, but, um, let's go ahead and get into the review. Um, <clears throat> came out on this day, November 17th, 2000. I was only a baby when it came out, but anyway, um, it all starts out with, apparently, um, Tommy's grandpa, Lou, got remarried to somebody, and... Tommy's in the room with Angelica, calling her the Bob Father, telling that Dill wants a new binky because some big boys took his old binky away and buried it in the sandbox, which made him sad. But yeah, he <coughs> Dill Dill done. Sorry, just Dill sucked on um Angelica's um Angelica's um what do you call it a ring and then apparently and then the the DeVille twins film will have a little horsey, wooden horsey head from what they found in their crib. And then she goes, that's what you get for wiping your boogers on Cynthia. <laughs> and then apparently um, we see him, Lou and Lulu dance together. And um, Chucky doesn't know what to wish for. And um, Angelica steals a binky from her baby and gives it to Dale. Gosh, is my camera okay? Sorry, sorry about that. My camera's just acting. I'm freezing on there. Anyway, um, during a mother and kid dance, um, Chucky becomes sad because he remembers how his mother died, like, shortly after he was born from terminal illness. And his dad was sad, too. So he takes him, he takes him home. Chucky wakes up in the middle of the night seeing his dad looking through old things. He's been missing Chucky's mother so much, and, um, but anyway, he decides that, um, apparently, um, Stu, the next day Stu is helping Chaz look for a new girl, for a girlfriend or something, or a date, and, um, Angelica has to explain what the date, what dates are to, to the babies, cause then Chucky gets excited that he's gonna get a new mother, then, <coughs> excuse me, I have to clear my throat, um, down on the other side of the planet, um, in Paris, France, um, apparently, apparently there's this woman named Coco Le Rouge, voiced by Susan Sarandon, she's been in other things, um, um, she was, she was the director of uh, this place called Reptar Land, and she has a Helper, I mean, her apprentice named Jean-Claude, played by John L Lithgow, voiced by John Lithgow. For some reason I thought he was voiced by Tim Curry, but he's voiced by John, John L Lithgow. But anyway, the Reptar robot breaks. They call Stu Pickles, which is, Stu is very funny when he, he was like sound asleep because it was like late at night. It's funny. And anyway, and then he goes, him and his friends and family, get on the airplane and they to Paris apparently because Stu worked on that Reptar robot and um, apparently um, they take Spike with them he's in the kennel <laughs> but um, 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 Chucky does get sad on the plane because he misses his mother still sees a cloud picture of him and his mother in the clouds as they're on the plane <coughs> anyway, the next day they arrive in, they arrive in, um, 
Paris, and um, they take a reptar bus to reptar land, and um, the babies are playing in the bathroom when they get there, and um, Spike chases a stray poodle and named Fifi, and then um, um, Stu and Chaz and the kids meet a lady named Kira, and um, anyway, um, Coco Lobouge, um plans on becoming president of Reptar Land because her boss is going to retire, apparently, and then she catches Angelica doing something. Angelica decides to help her trick Chaz into marrying her, and um, when Chucky is at a parade with 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 all the other peop with all the other babies, um, he decides he w once he hears a story about Reptar, he decides to like. He wants a princess for his mother. And then later that night at a sushi restaurant, because Reptar Land's a Japanese theme park in Paris, so they must be Japanese too. Japanese and French and English. But other than that, um, the, um, other than that, um, I like how Angelica sang Bad Girls with the sumo sumo people on the stage at the sushi, sushi restaurant, but anyway, um, anyway, the, um, anyway, Chaz meets Coco at the, at the restaurant, and, um, the other babies meet Kimmy, um, Kira's daughter, this was her first appearance, and she was, they, they called her the newest rug rat, anyway, um, and Spike is wandering in the streets looking for Fifi, and he ends up peeing on the Eiffel Tower. And then <coughs> Stu shows everybody his design on the Reptar robot. Turns out I think he might have designed Reptar's arch nemesis to the Robo Snail. And um, anyway, during Chaz and Coco's date, um, they go to Ooey Gooey Land. They sneak off to go to the to see the princess. But oh, she's all, she's not real. She's just an animatronic, and they don't understand that she's just an animatronic. And Chucky sadly is afraid of the doors because of the they look scary. And then the ninjas come and they take the babies back to Ooey Gooey Land. And then um, Spike ends up falling in love with Fifi. And then later that night, Chucky has a nightmare. I mean, he has a dream about him being a kung fu fighter. Kung fu fighter. I'm so sorry, um, anyway, <coughs> excuse me, and later that night, um, um, in the, the first, um, um, Spike and, Spike and Fifi fall in love, they eat pizza, and then, then, um, later that night they watch a show about Reptar, Angelica tells Chuck, Chucky's wish to Coco, and then, or La, Coco LaBouge, and then she sneaks to be, pretend to be the princess, and then that excites Chaz, that scares Chucky, and Chucky, I mean, and then next thing you know, um, the, the wedding, apparently Chucky and, Chucky's dad and Coco LaBouge are getting married, and Coco LaBouge spot the babies doing something, she orders Jean-Claude to kidnap them and Angelica, so she betrays Angelica also, and then Kira sees what happened, and um, but still, um, I'm just glad she did, because then Kira said that you can't go through this. When, while they're in the limo, Coco LaBouge kicks Kira out of the limo, because, because, yeah, because then Kira tells Coco what, sh what she's going to do, tell Chaz the truth about what's going on, but she kicks her out, but Coco orders the, the limo driver to step on it, and then... <laughs> Kira gets on the, on a bike, though, to chase after her, and then, um, excuse me, um, the big, um, Chucky gets emotional in the warehouse, but then he gets mad, and, because Angelica reveals that what she did, and she said sorry, and then Chucky gets mad and decides to, decides to stop the wedding, they get into the Reptar robot, and Angelica causes, um, Sean Claude's feet to get stuck because he tied her, he tied her, she tied her, his shoes together, and then 
she kind of had a little difficulty getting in the reptar robot. And then they pick up Kimmy also. She joins them too. And then they, and then apparently Jean-Claude chases after them in the robo-snail robot. And, um, apparently, apparently then he, he swung them around with, on the tail. They managed to get Kimmy back inside the, inside the ro reptar head, but then all of a sudden, um, the tail comes off. They go rocketing up on the Eiffel Tower, and Jellicoe goes flying in the air, which was kind of scary. She could have really, she really, but luckily they caught her, and they got her inside the reptar room. But still, to be honest, she really could have died in that scene. I really, she really could have died in that scene. That was kind of scary. But still, um, they made it, they made it to the church all right. Caused city collisions, though, but, um, they make it to the church. Chucky faces his fear to go inside. Because the doors are like dragon dragon handles that scare him. Which I'm like, is everything a dragon handle in this town? But anyway, he managed to he managed to go he goes he goes in, he stops the wedding, reunites with his dad, and then Angelica and, and Jean Claude um reveal that reveal Coco's mastermind plan. Coco gets fired, Angelica rips Coco's gown, showing her underpants. And then she gets humiliated and defeated, and then Spike attacks Jean-Claude, chasing him off. And then Kira gives um, Chucky's Wawa bear back, and Chaz says sorry to Kira and Chucky. And then Chaz and Kira start falling in love, and then sometime later on they get married, and Chucky and, Chucky and his mom... Chucky and his mother get have a little dance together, and he so Chucky has a new mother and a new sister and a new dog because they adopted Fifi, and not only that, Kimmy has a new brother and a new father and a new dog, and then eventually at the end, that film ends with them all having a cake fight at the end, which was hilarious. Yep, and featured song in the in the movie Who Let the Dogs Out. So yeah, um, anyway, I don't really, I don't really remember who it was by, but still, it's a good song, though. It's a, it's a good movie, um, I rated it a 10 out of 10, I, I almost rate almost every movie 10 out of 10, but it's from Nickelodeon Movies and Paramount Pictures, and that's the 20th anniversary movie review of Rugrats in Paris. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys on my third YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more of these reviews and more of these movie reviews, and... I will see you guys in the next review. Peace out. Love you all. Or, au revoir. <laughs> I should have said bonjour at the beginning, but that's alright. So, au revoir, everybody.